day is it? What year? It's morning. How long have you been at this? Oh god, I don't think I've won a match in hours. Days might be more appropriate from oh. the looks of things. And couldn't you get someone to clean this place up? If I would have known that Victor's interior decoration included bacon on the ceiling fan, I would have declined his offer. How did Doom mess up our new place so fast? I don't know, but speaking of him, he left you this note. Dear Max, went to the Puente Hills Mall. Meet Doom there at 1.15 p.m. Doom has made a major breakthrough and will need you to assist me. Remember, Puente Hills Mall, 1.15 p.m. How can you even read this? I'm fluent in Latvian. It's a stupid language. Do you have any idea what this is about? Well, Victor has been in the garage a lot lately, ever since he went to that yard sale. Oh crap, it's already 12! I gotta go! Max, while you're out, could you pick us up some... Tacos. Looks like it's just you and me, I mean. Sure, I still have it. Here, here, let me see. Just as I thought. Look! My head's gone. But what does that mean? It's been erased from existence. Something happened in the past to alter your fighting game abilities. You were never at that tournament because the time space continuum has been disrupted. Well, how do we fix it? <laughs> With this. Doom, is that what I think it is? <laughs> Hell yeah! The Infinity Gauntlet! Where did you get it? Out of yard sale last weekend! Here, let me show you what else I got! Doom, you don't exactly go to a yard sale and buy the Infinity Gauntlet! Did you rip that off? Of course! Thanos wanted me to build him a new gem set, so I gave him some cross gauge gems, some defense gems. It'll take him weeks to figure out those gems are useless for him. <laughs> oh, Doom, you can't do stuff like this, man. People like Thanos have so much power. Like, if we don't stop him, he's gonna. Oh my god. They found Doom. Doom doesn't know how, but they found him. What? What? Who? Who do you think? Thanos! Oh my god, what's wrong with his face? Oh, you are one ugly mother! Silence! Victor Von Doom, you are a dead man! Doom, give him back the Infinity Gauntlet. No way! Without this gauntlet, he's useless! Doom stole it fair and square anyways! <laughs> now, we run! <laughs> Go, go, go! After this! Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Thanos! Sir. He's gaining on us. Doom, you've really done it this time! Now we got a freaking Titan trying to kill us! Doom is aware of the situation!
What happened? Where are we? Game Boy Color? That's gonna be the bomb! September 1997? We got another problem, Max. The time gem has been fried on the Infinity Gauntlet. If you want to get back home, we gotta find another time gem. Otherwise, we're stuck here. You know, it may not be so bad, I mean. You don't have to put up with patches, or DLC, or internet connections, or cold subscriptions, or system updates. What are we supposed to do in 1997? I, I don't know. Maybe we can find an arcade or something. Wait. Doom, this is it. It's the tournament from the photo. Great Scott! If you don't get in that tournament and win it, your fighting game mojo will cease to exist, just like in that picture. This is heavy. Wait has nothing to do with it. All right, Doom. Let's get to work and start covering some of the controls and basics of Marvel superheroes. About time for some video games! The control layout in Marvel Super Heroes is fairly similar to the game before it, X-Men Children of the Atom, and the prior games before that one, the Street Fighter 2 series, which is a six-button layout with three punches and three kicks. Wait, what about the assist button? How will I do hidden missiles without it? Actually, Doom, this was before assists even made it into the Versa series. Marvel Super Heroes is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. The roster will seem very familiar to anyone that was familiar with Marvel Comics in the late 90s. It included Spider-Man, Wolverine, Psylocke, Shuma Garath, Magneto, Hulk, Juggernaut, Blackheart, Iron Man, and Captain America. You're missing the most important character, Max! Well, okay, that is actually true. Doom is in Marvel Super Heroes, but he's a boss character, and he's actually a secret selectable character, along with Thanos and Anita. But we'll go into that a little bit later. Alright, enough with the boring crap! Doom wants to kick some ass! Marvel Super Heroes has several unique gameplay mechanics that you'll be familiar with if you played the future games of Marvel vs. Capcom. Some of these universal abilities include super jumps, air grabs, chain combos, launchers, tech rolls, and air guarding. But one of the most important aspects to Marvel Super Heroes is the use of gems. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. No one said we were playing Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Well, okay, gems are a little similar between both of the games. However, in Marvel Super Heroes, the use and activation of gems is much different. No Pandora mode for Doom? Sorry, dude. Once you grasp some of these basic concepts in Marvel Super Heroes, you'll be able to pull off some of the more advanced techniques, which include air combos or aerial raves, wave dashing to increase your mobility, which is performed by pressing all three punches and down repeatedly, off-the-ground attacks, which lets you pick up your opponent for a greater combo. And last but not least, the Infinity Counter. In many situations, you'll be under a huge barrage of attacks from your opposition, and you'll need to get out quick. Sacrifice one bar, and a backwards fireball motion with punch to perform the Infinity Counter. And surprisingly, there's much, much more. Marvel Super Heroes might be over 15 years old, but it's an extremely dynamic and open-ended fighting game. Well, thank God Wesker wasn't around yet. Turn that music down. It's past curfew someplace. Kid these days, huh? Speak the devil's name and he shall appear. Wesker? Do I uh, know you two? Have I arrested you before? What? No! Of course not! Why would that have happened? Well, regardless, this is a clean neighborhood. You shouldn't be around here in this kind of an outfit. I don't want any of you hoodlums turning the kids here into slackers. 
All right. Jeez. Okay. We'll, we'll go. Well, since we're stuck here, do you have any idea where we're gonna stay? Why not your own room? Because I live there. And if we go there and I run into myself, it'll create a time paradox. A chain reaction that'll unravel the very space-time fabric continuum, destroying the universe. Granted, the destruction might be limited only to our galaxy, but that's like a best-case scenario. What are you talking about? The temporal displacement theory means that your younger self here has been taken to the present. You can't exist in the same plane of reality twice. Therefore, if we go back to the future, your younger self there will be put back to the moment he left. It'll be as if nothing ever happened. Wait, really? How do you know this? Uh, duh! Doctor Doom! How do you keep forgetting this? Wow, your taste sucked as a kid, Max. At least I have a childhood to remember. Man, this is weird. Uh, I don't know where my controllers are. We're not gonna- Nah, don't worry. Doom's got you covered. Always bring the essentials. Come on, hurry up. Of the many system mechanics in Marvel Super Heroes, the most unique and interesting one is the use and activation of gems. Are you sure this is tournament legal? Haha, <laughs> very funny. There's a total of six gems in Marvel Super Heroes. Each of them are Power, Soul, Mind, Reality, Space, and Time. Activating a Time Gem increases your movement speed and the speed of your normal and special moves. The Power Gem obviously makes all your attacks do more damage, but this also includes special moves and hypers. Activating a Soul Gem allows your overall health to regenerate for a small period of time. And the Mind Gem acts similar as well, but increases your overall meter gain. The Reality Gem can be fairly unique. During activation, elemental projectiles come out when you press any of the attack buttons. And finally, the Space Gem activates super armor for your character and prevents you from taking any chip damage. While acquiring and activating any of these gems is very useful, each character in Marvel Super Heroes can benefit greatly from a certain specific gem and can even have a special unique attribute. Let's start off with Iron Man, whose best gem to use is the Soul Gem, which by default allows him life recovery but it also supercharges some of his special attacks and takes meter from your opponent. For Wolverine, his best gem is the Power Gem, which by default increases his attack power, but it also activates several mirror images of Wolverine that trail behind him, adding hits to combos and damage overall. He's also extremely faster during this move, making it fairly similar to Berserker Rage in later versions of the Marvel vs. Capcom series. As for Psylocke, her best gem is similar to Wolverine, the Power Gem, and along with the increase of power, it gives her a similar move to that of a special in X-Men Children of the Atom called Ninjutsu. Several mirror images of Psylocke appear on the screen and behind her, and these images can hit the opponent, but are invulnerable. The only version of Psylocke you can actually hit is the one in the middle, and can be very confusing for the opponent. Spider-Man's best gem is also power. Along with that damage boost, it creates another mirror image of Spider-Man on the opposite side of the screen. This is actually fairly similar to Morrigan's astral vision in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And if we're seeing a pattern here, Captain America's best gem to use is also the power gem, as it does increase his damage and creates another mirror image that allows his attacks to hit several more times than they would normally. Oh. As for Magneto, the best gem he can use is the Space Gem. When activated, he screams out Force Field, and you will acquire a completely invulnerable Force Field for a period of time. Go on a complete offensive when the Force Field is active, as the only way to get rid of it is to have your opponent attack it several times, which puts you at the advantage. Shuma Garath's best gem to activate is the Time Gem. It makes any of Shuma's attacks turn the opponent temporarily into stone. It gives you just enough time to follow up for a combo, but any attack you connect will turn the opponent back to normal. 
Juggernaut's best gem is the Space Gem, and while activated, he'll take nearly no damage. The Super Armor, also granted by the Space Gem, makes it almost impossible for Juggernaut to be knocked down in any way. Blackheart's best gem is the Reality Gem. Along with its already existing attributes, Blackheart turns completely invisible for a small period of time. The best to use for Hulk is the Time Gem, as it allows him to have an increase in speed and he can start rapid firing his moves. Pressing several of his normal attacks in quick succession can lead to some devastating damage. Wait, what about Doom? Does Doom get a nuclear power human sized blender? Actually, I hate to break it to you, buddy. For all the boss characters in this game, which include Thanos and Doom, they don't get anything special from gems besides the already default abilities. Why? Why? Doom's so top tier, he doesn't need any of those fancy tricks, anyways. Well, this game's awesome at all. But what are we supposed to do to get back to our original time? I mean, you can't exactly search Time Gem on the internet these days. In order for us to get back home, we need another Time Gem. Unfortunately, the only one who has one in this era is Thanos. W you mean the guy that was just trying to kill us? I'm not doing that, man. That guy's crazy. No, no, no. Max, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. That was in the present. We're in the 90s. All you gotta do is challenge Thanos for his Time Gem at that tournament. And we'll be home free! Well, that doesn't sound so bad. How good is Thanos at Marvel? Well, he is the final boss. <laughs> <laughs>